Fakohar dengan rakan-rakannya di Istana Melaka dan juga di Riau menulis dalam Jawi. Kemanalah perginya skrip itu sekarang? Ini soal saya. Hadirin boleh kata, Datuk Seri Rais Menteri Kebudayaan, Datuk Seri Rais lah yang buat. Saya sedang buat, telah buat. Tetapi, yang timbul sekarang ialah sambutan daripada masyarakat. Sambutan daripada generasi baru yang tidak lagi menghantar surat tetapi menghantar SMS. Generasi yang tidak lagi mengutus warkah tetapi menggunakan email tidak adalah skrip itu dalam hubungan kita. Adakah Jawi seperti mana Latin? Soalnya, mungkin begitu. Tetapi, Latin sekurang-kurangnya ada pada nama bunga. <laughs> Latin sekurang-kurangnya ada pada nama pokok. Dan juga nama-nama lain. Bagi skrip Jawi bagaimana? Soalan itu seharusnya bukan saya seorang yang jawab. Tetapi dijawab oleh masyarakat Melayu sendiri. Dan juga mereka yang menjalankan penyelidikan. Hadirin yang dikasihi sekalian, <coughs> saya lihat uh, Madam sudah berkipas. Jadi uh, saya pendekkan uh, ucapan saya. <coughs> Lantaran terlampau panas nanti tidak terdengar apa yang disebut. Dan apabila memandang, tidak nampak lagi. <coughs> <coughs> Saya tertarik dengan Suraka 12 Haji Ali Haji Ali telah menyebut kepada kita Suraka 12 nya Kita lihat Sebagai orang alim Ulama Kita lihat sebagai sejarawan Kita lihat sebagai pujangga Dan penulis His writings Syair Siti Syiamat Syair Suluh Pegawai Syair hukum nikah They even had these rules for marriage You know, during those days Sultan Abdul Muluk Mukaddimah Fi intizam Atau hukum dan politik All these Are but a segment of His contributions And therefore with this translation I believe that much Light can be focused On the intricacies of his thinking and on the fact that he was beyond his time. But the Gurindam 12 remains one of my favorite because it depicts scenes for every segment of society. Gurindam the first, Gurindam the second are now inscribed here yeah, on the marble patch in Penyengah. And it is there for us to see. But the other Gurindam, the third, the fourth, until the twelfth, we have not seen that, unless we read this book, perhaps. But in this book, we can also see that the Salasilah Melayu Bugis, the Bustamal Katibin, 1857, Kitab Pengetahuan Bahasa, and Tamarat Al-Muhammad, terus menjadi pegangan yang penting. To put in a bit of dash for Kitab Pengetahuan Bahasa, I was informed that it was this kitab which later was recognized by the Indonesian authorities to become its Tata Bahasa, Awal. And our Zaba referred much to this book when he was writing Kiliran Budi. That is the content of the proverbs as well as the art of writing. Beyond that, <clears throat> the letter which Raja Ali Haji wrote to Hermann von Dewar, a German who had grasped a big and authoritative grasp of the uh, culture of Holland, has established a very close rapport with Ali. And Ali, through that companionship perhaps, understands many of the intricacies of the European communities longing and aspiration. Therefore, Professor Virginia's summation, and I quote, <clears throat> is very apt and to the point of understanding it, I have to read it to you. Professor Virginia's summation, quote, without the use of those inspiring records, 
by dedicated students of history and philosophy, both in the Riau Linga region and beyond, we would not be able to grasp the full significance of Raja Ali Haji's writings, nor the influence of his works on our present view and understanding of the Malacca Straits region. Based on the 1998 Karya Aung, I think she has done more than justice, in the sense that leafing through the pages which are well illustrated and with the kind of graphics which are both attractive as well as stimulating, this book will stay its time and it will become, I believe, a classical translation. Yang kurupuk tadi boleh lah tepuk. <laughs> Let me <coughs> mention another sentence which is attributed to her. The most, she said, this is the most complex and sophisticated indigenous Malay history composed before the 20th century. 